let's put some lines through some text here inside of InDesign. So I'm going to select some text over here in the properties panel, scroll down to the character section, and I'm looking for the strike through icon. I can't see it. There's a three dot icon in the bottom right corner. If I click on that, it brings up more options. And there is the strike through icon just there. So if I click on it, you can see I now get the line through that text just there. So let's try that again. I'll select some text, come over and activate the strike through option just there. Now, let's say I want to change the appearance of this strike through. Well, with that bit of text selected, if I hold down the Alt or the Option key and click once on that same strike through icon, it will bring up this strike through options dialog box. Now I've got my preview turned on just here. So you can see, for example, if I was to change the color to red, you'll see a change out there. And if I change, say, the weight to six point, choose OK and click away, you can really see the change that I made just there. So that was the properties panel. And don't take what I showed you just there too seriously, guys. Adobe keep updating this panel. So what I just showed you may have changed by the time you see this video. Let's uh, quickly review a couple of other places you can strike through text. So I'll select a word just here. Now we've got the control panel running across the top just up here. If you don't see that, window control is where you can turn that on. And there's also two buttons up here you need to be aware of. You don't want to be in the paragraph options just here. Make sure you're in the character options, which is this first button just here. So again, with some text selected, there is my strike through button just there. I click on it to add a strike through and hold down alter option again. Click on the icon once to bring up the options just there. Okay, there's another place, window, type and tables, character. If you like to work from the character panel, so I'll just select some text just here. Now this operates slightly differently. If you're looking for the strike through icon, you won't find it within the character panel. You need to come to the menu in the upper right corner, and then you can activate the strike through just there. You can see that pop up just there. And you'll also find the options in the same place. So up in that same menu, strike through options, and we can change things the same way I did earlier. This is all well and good guys, but there's a big problem with doing things this way. You can see that once you've applied the strike through, changing it after the fact can be a real pain in the butt. For example, let's say I come and select this text. Now I'm intentionally not selecting the last couple of characters just there, but let's pretend I did that by accident. So if I go and activate the strike through options, hold down alter option and click on the strike through icon just there. And let's say I change the color to red, choose OK. You can see that change is there, but oh look, I forgot to change it just there. So now I'll go and select that. You can see this is potentially a very tedious process. And what if I've put strike throughs in a hundred different places in my document? So let me show you the very efficient, very intelligent way you might want to be doing strike throughs. Window, styles, character styles. Now we are going to create a character style whose sole purpose in life is to strike through text. So character styles, go to the menu, new character style. Let's actually call this thing strike through. Now there's lots of different things we can change using this character style, such as font family, size, color. But again, strike through options. Let's just change that. So let's turn the strike through on and let's go for a three point solid red strike through. Choosing OK. So now let's go and select some text. And then with that text selected, guys, within the character styles panel, just click once on the entry for your character style. And you can see it has applied the character style. So I might go and select some more text just here, another word down here, and a big block of text just down here. OK, so you might be thinking, well, so what? Well, here's where it becomes incredibly powerful. Now the boss comes along and says, red. That's supposed to be green and much, much thicker, the strike through that is. No problems. Character styles panel, right mouse click on your character style, choose edit that style, come down to strike through options, and let's change that to green, and let's increase the weight to something ridiculous like seven point, choosing OK, and you can see that has changed absolutely everywhere through our document. So character styles, an incredibly powerful way to apply a strike through. 
I'm going to wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that helps you applying strikethroughs in your InDesign documents. Catch you later.